So Roland Utkar, thanks so much for joining us. I'm quite excited to hear about this report because the space is so abuzz at the moment. Uh, so much action, new uh, companies, startups that are getting into it uh, and it seems to be growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, happy to uh, share this uh, platform with Utkar uh, Sangvi from EY. Uh, so yeah, let me give you a little context about uh, the industry and where we are right now. So uh, currently the industry in terms of uh, size is uh, a little over a billion dollars and we must remember also that the industry is uh, is very nascent it's only 12 years old uh, the uh, the cagr uh, is at 20% and so if it continues in that uh, at that rate then uh, the uh, uh, there will be a doubling of uh, revenues to reach 2 billion dollars by 2023 now that's significant um uh, given that you know we are uh, the fifth largest gaming market in the world but uh, you know the the rate of growth is extremely high so mm. that's good and then you also yeah. juxtapose that with the number of gamers uh, and that's a significant number mm. also mm. Uh, which is uh, currently at close to uh, 350 million but uh, expected to grow in the same time frame to uh, 500 million Okay. So significant numbers. The the uh, number of investment uh, deals also that have happened in the industry are uh, you know significant, uh, close to half a billion dollars uh, in the last uh, one year. So yeah, by all uh, parameters and metrics, I think uh, you know the industry is well poised. To, to deliver those numbers that I just mentioned. Okay. Well, Kush, uh, share with us what you were hoping to find uh, with this report and what some of those key uh, revelations have been. So since, uh, you know, uh, taking forward from Roland, like you mentioned, this is a nascent industry. Uh, even from tax point of view, it is, it is a new industry. Uh, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, we haven't really seen in the past. Um, and uh, hence, um, uh, you know, what the government did is, uh, as a as a foresight, uh, it kind of created a committee of a uh, group of ministers to find out what should be the method of taxation, the method of charging GST uh, to these kind of industries, right? And uh, uh, so, uh, 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 so this this committee will probably give its finding in another three to six months time uh, to the GST council, and that will form the basis for for taxation uh, for this industry going forward. Um, so what this report does is that it kind of uh, educates, uh, uh, you know, in terms of what is a game of skill and what is a game of chance. All right. Uh, share with us uh, the kind of, um, you know, the kind of recommendations that you hope to take forward from this report, uh, Roland, from an industry perspective. Uh, you know, what you feel, you know, could really help to multiply the impact on the industry and growth going forward. Yeah, thanks, Hava. So the thing is that uh, we have seen, you know, over the last maybe four years, this great uh, impetus and momentum that has that the industry has shown, and you know that is uh, going cutting across to the entire ecosystem. So to keep that going, obviously, uh, you know, we need to circumvent and overcome the challenges that the industry faces. And one of that, uh, one of the main things is that uh, gaming per se is a, a state subject. And hence, uh, there are certain misinterpretations about this sector, uh, like Utkarsh mentioned, you know, certain blurring of lines between what constitutes maybe uh, betting and gambling vis-a-vis, uh, -vis, you know, games of skill. Now, and also the way different states interpret uh, the subject itself is one of the biggest, uh, you know, challenges. Now, as the AIGF and the Apex Federation for the online skill gaming industry, those, uh, you know, the dialogues and uh, deliberations uh, and representations are underway, have been underway over the last so many years to, to you know, to create awareness, uh, to keep them, to keep, uh, you know, the stakeholders informed about, uh, about the sector and the great potential that, you know, it can, uh, the states also can derive both from, uh, you know, GST contributions uh, as well as, uh, uh, you know, the direct and indirect job creation. Okay. What about all these uh, young companies and startups uh, getting into the space as well? I mean, clearly there's potential. Is there also investor interest uh, in some of these, Roland? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, uh, 
I think the entire ecosystem, if we look at the game development side also of things, then clearly we are looking at, you know, a, a community of 500 uh, companies and platforms in the space. Uh, so, so that, and that is also growing, uh, you know, year on year. So a lot of uh, startups, as you rightly said, are looking at this sector. Uh, you know, it is a it is a good combination of technology. Uh, you know, combining with smart uh, marketing uh, and uh, uh, you know uh, and products and services, obviously that are you know on par with with global offerings. Uh, all of these companies are like uh, you know tech companies that we have uh, the Amazons and the Flipkarts of the world. What they really do is they they uh, give a platform. Or, or a solution for players to come and play between themselves. So uh, if there are, you know, four people who are playing a game, uh, they can, you know, uh, play against each other uh, on the platform. The platform ne never kind of, you know, uh, really con uh, participates in that uh, in that game. Uh, and all of these four players, they can contribute the money. And for uh, for giving that platform as a service, uh, they charge a, a platform fee uh, to each of the players. So. Um, conceptually, it is between five to fifteen percent uh, is is a range of the fee that uh, generally the platforms normally charge. And uh, depending on the rules of the game, one of the person may win that game. Right out of the four people, say one person wins the game, he will take the winnings uh, net of the platform fee. Uh, as a platform service provider, uh, what um, uh, what I do, uh, what I earn is only the platform fee. I don't really participate anywhere. And it is only fair to tax, on, um, you know, to charge GST on, on the platform fee or the stake fee or the gross gaming revenue, as it is uh, called in, uh, in various international jurisdictions. Uh, it is only fair to, you know, tax uh, uh, the, the platform fee. We, in fact, done analysis of around 15 to 20 countries um, and uh, identified various ways in which this should be taxed. Fantastic, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Abba.